Our oceans are in a state of crisis, and we're responsible for it. It's not just about protecting the ocean. It's actually about protecting our South African heritage. At the correct time, when he said, right, now, I pulled that trigger. We need to wake up. Everybody needs to wake up. We're running out of time. What concerns me about it is that it makes the clock tick faster. We realize that there's a lot down there that we haven't yet understood. We're unlocking remnant areas, and I think we need to be very careful that we understand them before we destroy them. We're about to head off on the most incredible journey of discovery. We're going to spend time learning about some of South Africa's most iconic species. Yeah, we're good to go. Okay, you can deploy when ready. Going down. Along the way, we're going to meet an incredible group of scientists. Individuals that have dedicated their lives to improving our understanding of these species. Right, both of you, thank you. But more importantly, to protecting the ocean space. Here we go. Two, three, oh, six. It's very easy to get complacent and defeatist about all the negativity and things that are going on around us. It's pretty! Yay. 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 Wow. But the only thing that has ever changed the planet is public opinion and public pressure. This is the right opportunity to actually try and aim for more. Three, two, one, go. Right now, we are seeing a great success. For us to do anything to threaten that recovery would be absolutely catastrophic. You know, we'll just undo all the good work that we've done as a global population. There's a message to us that if we are determined and if we are committed, we can turn what was seen to be an impossible situation around. This, for me, is a really shining example of bringing hope to the situation and how you can do something about it. We need to find ways to effectively conserve and cherish these beautiful blue spaces in a way that unlocks the potential of all South Africans.